Uh, it was a tactical, pragmatic masterpiece yeah. from Mikhail Ateta. He's wet with Pep Guardiola. That mm -hmm. Pep Guardiola happens to be his boss. He's, he virtually gave him his first opportunity yeah. to come and sit on the bench and coach a team or to assist someone coach a team. And that person is Pep Guardiola. So if there's any person out there who understands what the thinking of Pep Guardiola will be before yeah. a game is Mikel Arteta. Right. In that game at the Etihad, it was clear that until the stupidity of David Luiz came to the party, <laughs> Mikel Arteta had gotten it right that's tactically. That and is David that's Luiz that's actually that's decided that's to be a bit stupid. <laughs> Yesterday, David Luiz clearly learned from his lesson. He was by far the Excellent best game. player on the pitch. Yeah. And I think that collectively, defensively, this is the best I have seen of yeah, Arsenal a very long time. in about five seasons. Because they ensure that tactically, everybody knew what he had to do. And within the group, they knew what they had to do together as a unit. And tactically, when you have your team playing like that with Obama Yan and Lacazette, people who are supposed to be up front, they're all very deep in the half, in your half, making sure that there is proper defensive line cover. It could only make the work of the opponent even more difficult. But you can do all that. In the midst of all that, you need a world-class what finisher, isn't yeah. it? And that is what Obama Young brought to the party yesterday. He had three chances, actually. He put two away. Mm -hmm. David, the first goal, in my view, was That's not a chance. A chance. Mm -hmm. But it was just after he had missed a 1v1 with the goalkeeper. It tells you how world-class he is. Because yeah. for any other striker, that 1v1 miss mm -hmm. would have fit. Could have dented his confidence. But it was, I think it was within the space of five minutes. Clearly, he, he put that behind himself. And then he, he knew that, look, this could present himself again. There's more yeah. ahead of us, so let me be focused. And I yeah. think yesterday, look, tactically, Arsenal was superb. Again, for all those who are watching the program, for all mm -hmm. those who think that the Jose Mourinho method is outmoded, yeah. that was a perfect reminder. Katanashi. That if you've got the best players or the right players and they understand what they really have to do for themselves and for the team, and they buy into the tactical idea of the manager. Because, believe you me, yeah. if this was a Jose team playing like that mm. against a Pep Guardiola team, yeah. people would have said all sort of things that Jose is outmoded, mm -hmm. the method it's is negative. gone, it's negative approach. But here is the case where you have a very young manager who is still learning the trade on the job, yeah. but in the process of learning the trade, he's seen the need to go by or to go back to one of the best managers the game have ever seen, mm -hmm. Jose Mourinho's way of doing it. So for me, I watched the game yesterday and I could clearly tell. After Talk the about David Lewis. Look at that pass. Look, absolutely to brilliant. To Obama, that's, yeah. what the mess, that's the mess you were talking about. Yeah, that's the 1v1 I was talking about. Yeah. And, this, and the, the pass came from Lewis. It, it was brilliant. He intercepted the ball. And then look at he, he picked the know. pass. Look, look at that. Brilliant. Without a doubt, one of David Lewis's greatest advantage as a, uh, as a footballer is his ability to pass the ball yeah, and that is the true. ball that is very, true. very well. So he knows how to do, uh, do these things. So for me, again, look, another player that we need to recognize in this game is Nicolas Pepe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. this is his best big game he's played. I've seen him play some other good games, but in terms of playing against any of the top six, this to me is his best. In fact, that was a brilliant finish from the far post. Look, I mean